his earnings that he made that weekend to contribute <laughs> to his um, part of participating in St. Baldrick's. And I just want you to know that the kids that you see around here that are bald, they didn't just sacrifice their hair, they sacrificed more than that to participate today. And their families have also sacrificed for them. So I want to thank you guys for participating and thank you for being out here cheering them on. <laughs> so there's a lot of sacrifice going in. It is much more than just shaving your head. Shaving your head helps bring awareness. But along with that, all the shavies, the participants have worked to raise money. They've asked their friends, their neighbors, their family, uh, sometimes even strangers, if they would support them in their brave, balding task of going completely bald to try to enhance awareness. So they have given a lot, and they put in a lot of time and effort. And just a little bit at a time, if everybody just pitches in a little bit, it helps raise money for this incredible cause. Did you know a person can lose between 40 and 100 hairs each day off of their head? That's a lot of hair. So you're losing your hair anyway, so you might as well just shave all 100,000 of them and go bald quickly. So you don't have to lose them each step of the way. There'll be a lot less sweeping going on at the house. <laughs> All right, we got two more chairs, or one more chair. Oh, no. Go ahead and get another guy. Slide on up in there. And some of you guys might want to just consider like growing, shaving it all and just leaving one little lock on there. <laughs> They're taking photographic and video evidence to track the journey to your lostness. Lost hair. They're lost. They're lost. They're lost hair. You know, during the lifetime of an average human being, a human being will grow 590 miles of hair. That's a lot of hair. So if you could imagine Rapunzel times like a hundred. I don't know, maybe a thousand. That's long hair. How many of you guys would like to see Disney shave Rapunzel's hair? On top of all of the activities going on here, there are some incredibly stylish balloon hats being made. And then there's some incredible face painting going on. I see a lot of mustaches, some pink ribbons, some eye black, well it's actually eye pink, and, and some very courageous uh, two-toned ribbons, pink and purple maybe. So make sure you guys are getting your fill of all the fun activities that are going on. You know, each year, 
None of this would be possible without the fantastic volunteer staff we have. All these incredible stylists and hair barbers and uh, incredible hearts that want to help as well. This is this is their way of contributing and pitching in. And they do a lot for us because we couldn't have our head shaved without their assistance. It would look really bad. We would all be afraid to leave here. As bad as opposed to how we look when we leave. Like, yeah, that's right. Right.